What's going on everybody? So I am doing another Xcode tutorial. After about a month since my last one, which was just a brief introduction, very brief introduction to Xcode, um, I've actually decided to pick up on another one. So this one is going to be pretty short. I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes. Five you say, yeah, wow, crazy. So here we go. This is going to be on implementing iAds into your project. Now, while iAds seem really simple, you drag them in, they're actually kind of hard because there's more things to do than just dragging the little iAd banner into your view and calling it good. If you do that and you don't have the code hooked up properly, it'll crash. So probably in my next Xcode video, I'm actually going to cover Google AdMob ads, which are a little bit um, trickier to implement, but they're easier to use once you have them implemented. So here we go. First, you're going to want to open Xcode and create a new project. And now, people have had some trouble with this from the last one. What you're going to want to do, especially for this project, and actually most of your projects, is a single view application. And I'm just going to name it I add. And right here, this is where people run into the most problem. Where it says use storyboard, if that's checked, your project is going to be a little bit different. So you're not going to want to use storyboard. You're going to want to use automatic reference counting and unit tests is assertion functions. You don't need that, especially because it's going to have about three lines of code. So let's choose those. Pick a place to name it. You don't need a Git repository because it's going to do literally nothing. And here we are. Same screen. If you've opened Xcode, you're familiar with such a screen. Um, that's about it. So we're going to jump right in. First file you're going to want to edit to enable your iAd is going to be from this home screen. Now targets, you're going to want to click targets and you're going to click build phases. Under build phases you're going to click link binary with libraries and from there you're going to click the little plus sign and search iAd and add iAd.framework. Now that adds that to your project and so you're done with that part. So now we're going to go to viewcontroller.h and it's pretty bare, pretty naked, but that's just how it's supposed to be. So right here, you're going to import, choose the bottom one, I add slash, whoops, I did not capitalize that right, I add Dot H. And believe it or not, capitalization does matter because Objective-C is case sensitive if you haven't already figured that out. Now, continuing on, we have these imported and you're going to add one more line of code to the interface code. You're going to add bracket. No, that's not a bracket. What would you call that symbol? I don't know. Because while completely, completely random, I'm in a programming class right now and my professor is super crazy about this is a bracket this is a brace. This is not a curly bracket and this is not a square brace. She's crazy. If you like call them the wrong thing she goes nuts. But anyway, <laughs> after that little tangent, we're going to do this little uh, I guess greater than symbol and you're going to say add banner view delegate and it auto completes it for you and that's all you need to do. So your view controller obviously in your true Xcode project is going to have a bunch of different code in here, but this is the only thing you need to add. Now, if you already have new um, classes in your implementation, all you have to do is add a comma and add next class. And so it still keeps your implementation, but that way you can do more than one. So that's just a handy tip. I've had people run into problems with that. So save this file. I typed S, meaning to hit Command S and move on to viewcontroller.m. Now, under your implementation, you're going to want to do a brace key there, see that? And you're going to type add banner view space star under bar banner view. Now, caps matter here. If you don't have that V capitalized and that B lowercase, you're going to have an issue. Um, the star just means it's a pointer variable, 
The B just means you're calling it in a safe context, so you don't need to do context checking, but you don't need to know that. Basically, that's all you write, just like that, semicolon, everything like that. Now, there's one more line of code, actually, to add to your viewcontroller.m file in order to get this work. In your super view did load, I guess it's a void view did load function. In your super view, after the line super view did load, you're going to hit enter, and you're going to do bracket self.view space add subview and this you're going to do underbar banner view finish your brace oh gosh I just messed him up alright well I didn't mess anything up I just said brace instead of bracket sorry it drives me crazy now when I screwed up so that's the line you need now if you mess this line up it's also not going to work so make sure you have no errors or warnings now save this file and move on to your view controllers. So all we're going to do, I'm going to add a label to show that it's working. Just center. And find, oh, by the way, if you don't know how to use Xcode, like if this video is confusing you, just go and watch my intro to Xcode video. They'll be in the same playlist and I'll include a link to it. And I'll go through all the things in more depth that I'm doing right now. So if you find yourself lost at any point, just watch that. You'll feel really a lot more comfortable with it afterwards because I go through all of the flow of Xcode. So anyway, from this object view, you're going to scroll down and pick I add banner view and drag it to wherever you want on your screen. I don't know, some people like top, some people like bottom. So you're going to save this view controller. And then I also have an iPad view controller to display that it works. So I'm going to drag the I add banner on there too and save that. So now Maybe I'll add a label. I don't know. Put it in the middle. Whatever. So now you have, hopefully, two correct setups. So I'm going to run them just to prove that they work in the simulator. Um, but that's all you need to do. So here we go. Label, test advertisement. Now, when you have your applications, obviously they won't just be an empty application unless you're practicing. When you have an application running, from the simulator or from your provision device, it's just going to show test ads. And even when you download it from the App Store onto your device, if you've registered that device for development, it will not show iAds. So don't freak out if it always says test advertisement. Now, to make sure this works, click it. Works perfectly. So quit this, run it on iPad just to show. There's our label. There's the test ad. If you click it, it runs. So that's all you need to do. Um, like I said, probably later this week or next week, I'll be doing a video on ad mob ads. But until then, um, that's how you set them up in iAd. Now there's one more trick to iAd. And I don't know if I should show it. I don't know. I might. Basically, you have to enable the iAds for your application inside the iTunes Connect page. So once you have your application uploaded is you still have to enable the iAds. So you know obviously there's a lot more to do but once your application is uploaded to the App Store then you enable iAds and then you can get true iAds and get some revenue from it. So yeah um, that's it. Like I said Google AdMob Ads soon. Uh, if you have any problems or requests for another tutorial, just let me know, and I will help you guys out with that. Uh, that's really all. Hopefully pretty simple. I failed epically at keeping under five minutes because I talk too much. So take care. See you guys later. That's it. Peace.